Hello, welcome back. I'm Joseph Aiken, a professor at the Department of Recording Industry at Middle Tennessee State University. This is the third video in a series covering the fundamentals of synthesizer programming. In this video, I'm going to give you an introduction to modifiers. Let's begin by looking at this diagram. You can see that we have an oscillator, a filter, and an amplifier. The filter and the amplifier are modifiers. Let's begin by talking about the filter and its purpose. Notice that your audio signal begins with a source and then it's going to travel through the filter and then to the amplifier. The purpose of the filter is to subtract some of the harmonic content coming from the source. That's why we call it subtractive synthesis. Most any synthesizer will have a filter, and that filter will have various controls that allow you to adjust it. I'm going to show you four common controls found at the filter. First is the filter type, second is the cutoff frequency, third is the slope, and fourth, filter resonance. Let's begin by looking at the filter type. Your synthesizer may allow you to choose different filter types such as low pass, high pass, band pass, maybe others. But if it only allows you to choose one filter type, that will be a low pass filter. What is a low pass filter? Well, let's take a look at this diagram. Notice in this diagram, we have amplitude on the vertical axis, and notice we have frequency on the horizontal axis. Notice that we have a slope. To the left of the slope, we have a pass band, and then to the right of the slope, you have a stop band. That means low frequencies are going to pass, and higher frequencies will be blocked. So that's why it's called a low-pass filter. If your synthesizer allows you to change the type of filter, you might could switch this around to a high-pass filter. Notice in this diagram, it's the opposite. We are now stopping low frequencies, and passing high frequencies. So that's why it's referred to as a high pass filter. If your synthesizer allows you to change the type, it's referred to as a multi-mode filter. The second control on your filter is the cutoff frequency. Now the textbook definition of cutoff frequency is the point at which attenuation is 3 dB down. Let's take a look at this diagram. Notice we have a low pass filter, and where you see a, a pink circle dot there, that is the point at which attenuation is 3 dB down, the cutoff frequency. Now, your control on your synthesizer will allow you to move that cutoff frequency across the audio spectrum. So you can move it higher, passing more frequencies, or bring it to the left, blocking more frequencies. Let's listen to that on the Moog synthesizer. Notice that the cutoff frequency is set to around 400 hertz. I'm going to move it to the right, passing more frequencies, and then back to the left, blocking frequencies as I go. And then back to where we started. The third control that you might find at your filter is the slope. Your synthesizer may allow you to switch between different slopes. The slope is also referred to as the roll-off. It's the amount of attenuation measured in so many dB per octave. Well, let's take a look at this diagram. Notice in this diagram we have two different slopes. The one to the left is a 24 dB per octave, and the one to the right is 12 dB per octave. So the one to the right is going to be a more gentle slope. Again, your synthesizer may allow you to switch between these two different slopes and perhaps even others. The fourth control that you'll commonly find at the filter is resonance. Notice in this diagram that resonance will actually boost the frequency at the cutoff frequency. Let's take a look at the Moog Voyager to see what this sounds like. Right here is resonance. I'm going to boost that up 
most of the way, and then I'm going to sweep the filter with the cutoff frequency so that you can clearly hear how resonance is boosting the cutoff frequency. So I'm going to increase the cutoff frequency and then bring it back down. And back to where we started. So there you have it. That's the filter section. A modifier along with the amplifier, another modifier found at the synthesizer. Now, in our next video, we're going to take a look at a controller called the Envelope Generator. For more in-depth coverage of synthesizer programming, be sure to get my book from the website themidiprofessor.com. There, you will find how to get the electronic music books that we use at MTSU and more. Thanks for checking out the Fundamentals of Synthesizer Programming video series. Thank you.